Why say a thousand meters when you could flex and say a kilometer? Yeah, kill me, baby. The International System of Units, aka SI, makes sure we all measure stuff the same way because apparently yelling it's about this big doesn't work in science. SI has prefixes, little labels that tell you how big or small something is. It's like Tinder for numbers, swipe up for giga, swipe down for nano. Let's start big, like Jeff Bezos' bank account big. Kilo equals 1,000. Kilometer, kilogram, kilowatts, kilo everything. Basically, when you want to sound smart without doing math. Then comes mega, a million, as in, I have a megaton of problems and all of them are due tomorrow. Giga equals a billion, like your GPU or your student loan debt if you go to med school. Terra, Peta, Exa, Zeta, Yada. At this point, we're not measuring, we're starting a Marvel phase. Now, shrink it down like your confidence after checking your exam score. Milli equals one thousandth, like milliliter of milk left in the fridge level betrayal. Micro equals one millionth, like bacteria, or trust in group projects. Nano equals one billionth, which is also how much motivation I have left. Then we go deeper. Pico, femto, ato, zepto, yocto. Sounds like rejected Pokemon, but nope, just super tiny numbers. Bottom line, SI units make science less confusing and more universal. Unless you're using inches and Fahrenheit, then I can't help you. So use SI prefixes. Sounds smarter. Confuse your friends. And remember, it's not too much. It's a kiloton of awesome.